The completing square technique is very useful from the question 11 onwards. What is the completing square? Now, this idea is actually come from the square of x plus y equals to x square plus 2xy plus y square. Square plus 2x plus 3. So, in order to complete the square, so I will see that I have x square plus 2x. So in this case, y equals to 1, so I need to plus 1. But there is a 3, so I need to add another 2. So this is a 3. But this one will give me x plus 1 square plus 2. What's the advantage to do the completing the square? We know that if x is a real number, x square is always greater than or equals to 0 for all x. So, it means that this is at least 0 plus 2, it will be at least 2. So, we know that this expression is at least 2. So, these are the questions from example 11. So, for this, the y will be equal to negative 2. y is equal to a negative 2. So, y squared will be equal to a 4. But this is negative 7, so I need to minus 11. So, from here, I have x minus 2 squared minus 11. This is called the completing square. Next, the y here is equal to, what's the answer? Yes, it's 3. So this will be um, plus 9. But this is 13, so I need to have another 4. So the first three terms will give me x plus 3 squared plus 4. This is slightly different because the daily coefficient is not equal to 1. So we shall take out the 3 and it becomes x squared minus 2x plus 10. What we need to do here is that x squared minus 2x, it go back to the previous technique and I know that y is equal to negative 1. So I need to plus 1. Okay. So what you have right now, this is already a 3. In order to get 10, this should be a 7. So right now I have 3x minus 1 squared plus 7. So these are for a, b and c. So now this is d, e and f. d is about the same as c. We take out the negative 1 and this is x squared plus 4x. Now if this is plus 4x, it means that y will equal to 2. So we need to add 2 squared which is a 4. Now this is 19. So remember that this is minus 4. So we need to have 23. 23 minus 4 is equal to 19. So this will equal to negative x plus 2 squared plus 23. This is equal to um, x squared plus. In this case, this y is equal to, is equal to 2y. So we need to plus 2y squared, which is 4y squared. Now this is 7y squared and this is 4y squared. This will be equal to 3y squared. For completing square, this will be x plus 2y squared plus 3y squared. It is always good to expand this and see whether we can get back the same thing. For f, the first thing that we need to do is we take out negative 2. Negative 2 x squared and this will be plus 6xy plus 5y squared and for this x squared plus 6xy so in this case the y will be equal to 3y so i need to have 3y squared which is 9y squared so in this case this is already negative 18y squared so i need to add 23y squared so this will equal to negative 2 x plus 3y squared plus 23y squared. This is for question 11.